Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to do Add to Cart and then show this View Cart button over here. And now we're going to learn about how to pull the cart value from the app context and use it inside of the packs. We're going to show a number over here that how many items are already there in the cart. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to our header component. So let's say inside of the header, uh, it's here. And then inside of this, I'm going to pull the context on top. So as you already know that if you want to use the cart and set cart values, which is basically what's available to a provider and provider is passing that information to our layout component like this. So any component inside of that, in this case header, will have access to the cart and set cart, right? Uh, so this is our cart and set cart. So cart is going to con contain the uh, entire store in terms of the cart information. And we're going to go ahead and consume that value inside of the header so that I can, we can provide that to this bag. Okay, so we'll pull the use context on top from react. So I'm going to say use context, there you go. And then we're also going to pull the app context. So let's pull that on the top. So basically just pulling this context that we've created so that we can take advantage of using these values. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, once we've done that, we're gonna use this cart value. So I'm gonna go down where we have this button, this one right here, okay? So we need to convert this into a link because I want this uh, link to go to the cart page which we've already created so I'm going to replace this like so basically what I've done is I've wrapped this a component uh, this a anchor tag inside of link so I can take advantage of the next JS routing and links okay uh, and I'm just saying slash cart okay this a tag remains the same uh, this is the span and inside of the bag uh, what we're doing is put that like so Okay, this bag is inside of this. This is like this. Okay, now it's clear. So bag is the icon. Uh, then inside of the span, what we're doing is we are checking that card dot total quantity because if you notice, if you remember, let's do inspect applications next card. You see that we have this total quantity right inside of this uh, store. Uh, of course, this the same store value is available in the local storage as well as in the context so this card value is available as you can see it's here so we can take advantage of that we can say card dot total quantity card dot if it's available then show the quantity otherwise null right so now if you go back there you go congratulations and you can see that you've got 107 items in the cart right <laughs> i know i've been just adding it for the demo purposes but you get the idea right okay so uh now if i add one more You'll notice that this will change 108 excellent click again notice it's changed this is super super cool i mean there's no page reload nothing it's all happening through the react context api and and just to give you a recap what's happening here is basically when you do add to cart basically when you click this button add to cart function is called inside of this function what we're doing is we are setting the loading value initially to true making this api call uh, once the API call is successful, we are setting the loading to false. Setting is added to cart to true so that we can kind of show the view cart button if it's successful. And then we're calling the view cart function once it's successful. Inside of this function, basically, we are again making a request to get the uh, latest cart data because add to cart would only return the uh, item added to the cart. We need the entire cart. That's why we are calling this view cart. We're making this request and then we're making a request. Once we get the response, we're calling the get formatted card data function to format this card. The job of which is basically to calculate the total amount, total number of items in the card and total price by looping through this card item array. Okay, so once we get that data, then we are using the set card function which has been passed uh, to this, like so, using the use context, right? So that set cut function is going to get called. We're going to pass the cart value. So we're going to pass the formatted cart value, which will be the new value of the cart. 
and then inside of the context API, as you know that the moment this function is called inside of the provider, the moment this function is called, the cart value changes. The moment it gets changed is going to go ahead and set the value, is going to update the local storage with the new value. And at the same time, because there's a change in the cart value, all of the children of this provider is going to get that cart value. And in our case, because we have wrapped it inside of the layout, uh, this provider, provider is going to pass that information to the header. The header is going to use the use context to pull that cart value, pass it to the uh, bag, and we have it here and its value is going to get changed because it's wrapped inside of the provider so anytime it changes it's going to be changed over here so this component will uh, re-render and change the value so i hope you get the idea and by this time it's very clear to you about how this entire process is working and we have successfully created this bag functionality okay so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and do style my repository to support my work. And please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayyad. And please follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Tech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.